Welcome everybody. Good morning, good evening, buenos dias, buenas tardes, namaste, hueri mira. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the first international conference for protocol and soft diplomacy conducted by Protocol Today, the Netherlands. My name is Lur Sadek, and I am honored to be the master of ceremony for this conference. I am the coordinator of marketing and communication at Protocol Today Academy, and I'm also the office manager at the diplomatic representative office of the Republic of Bulgaria in Palestine. I am really thrilled and glad to be today with you with more than uh, 32 countries joining this uh, conference uh, with our motivated participants and our great speakers all on one platform. To begin this conference, we are pleased to introduce our two journalists for this conference. Let me start with Mr. Wilfredo Perez, journalist of magazine Global Mindset. He has an education in business administration from the Peruvian Institute of Business Administration. He has a specialty in political science and protocol and event organization. He represents the online protocol today magazine Global Mindset Navigating Smoothly Around the World. Magazine aims to reach and connect executives, diplomats and professionals who aspire a career in cross-border operational organizations. Welcome, Mr. Perez. Our second journalist is Mr. August Zaidman, journalist of Diplomat Magazine. He is a reporter for Diplomat Magazine while also studying at Leiden University in the Netherlands, pursuing a Bachelor of Arts degree in International Studies. His focuses are on international politics and security within the framework of fostering greater cross-cultural understanding and intersectionality. He has been working for Diplomat Magazine in various capacities since early 2020 and becoming engaged with the diplomatic community of The Hague. He represents today Diplomat Magazine, magazine for diplomats by diplomats, reaching out to the world from the European Union, first diplomatic publication based in the Netherlands. Articles written by Mr. Perez and Mr. Zaidman will be published in the magazine Global Mindset and in the Diplomat magazine. It will be about this conference, so uh, we will be sending you these articles uh, whenever they're ready for your edit. Please now allow me to welcome our moderator for this conference, Ms. Melike Hokarlu Caglios. She is currently making research on Chinese commercial diplomacy strategies in Argentina at the University of Amsterdam and is the project manager of Protocol Today. She studied international relations at Ulkent University in Ankara. She worked in Foreign Economic Relations Board of Turkey for one year as member relations director and five years as Latin America regional coordinator Within her various capacities at DEIK, she frequently organized trade delegations from Turkey to various countries in both South and North America. While her native tongue is Turkish, she is fluent in the English and Spanish languages. Welcome our moderator, Melike Hokaglu. Now, please allow me to welcome Ms. Adriana Flores for her, her welcome words. Ms. Adriana, the floor is yours. I would like to share a short video with you. Welcome, bienvenidos to the International Protocol and Soft Diplomacy Conference from the Netherlands. 
I would like to thank the team of protocol today. Without your unconditional support, we will not be able to be here today. Dr. Devan Almahadeo, Program Director and Developer of the Concept of Protocol today. Lur Sadek, a Ceremony Master and Coordinator of Marketing and Communication. Melike Hokanglu, Moderator and Project Manager. Aura Barajas, Master of Ceremony and Coordinator of Marketing and Communication. Wilfredo Perez, Journalist of Magazine Global Master. And also August Zeidman, Journalist of Diplomat Magazine Europe Union. All our international speakers, thank you. A warm welcome, excellencies, diplomats, businessmen, students, and distinguished guests. The day of today and tomorrow, we are going to be most honored by representatives of the embassies to the Netherlands of Australia, Iran, Rwanda, Macedonia, Israel, Bolivia, Peru, Chile, Nicaragua, the High Commission of Canada, the High Commission of the Republic of Zambia, also representatives of the Embassy to Mexico, of Honduras, and Malaysia, or also the Consulate of uh, Germany in Mexico. We have, all, we have also amongst all also very good international organizations as Business China, uh, and, and last dot, Mexico, Magazine Nueva Diplomacia in Chile, Chilean Argentina Chamber of Commerce, University Institute Franco Ingles, Mexico, University of Ham, the Netherlands, Corporate Affairs, EMEA, LATAM, APAC, Tata Consulting Service, India. International Center of Protocol and Diplomacy, United Kingdom and Africa. And also Red Talentos, Mexico. It's a very special moment to have the experience of being with people from all the globe, from America to Australia. We are almost honored to welcome participants today and tomorrow in addition from Argentina, Bermuda, Belgium, Dominican Republic, France, Gambia, Congo, Ghana, Guatemala, Haiti, Nigeria, Italia, Paraguay, Poland, Palestine, Spain, Switzerland, Turkey, United States, United Kingdom. That happened not often, and that makes today a unique day. Thank you everyone for giving us the honor of being with us during this international protocol and soft diplomacy conference. First one of this time concept from the Netherlands. Your presence is making a difference and it will be forever selling in our story. We constantly strive to share knowledge by experts and offer the best high quality international. This means constant evolution, movements, change, and adaptations in this globalized world. For this reason, we decide to organize this conference because we understand the importance and the needs of the knowledge about the power of protocol and the impact of diplomacy in international business. Moreover, in this way, we share knowledge and make others aware about the importance to study those topics, to work professionally, internationally, in a natural way. Please enjoy and embrace the mission of protocol and diplomacy. Thank you all very much. Great. Thank you, Adriana. It's an honor for me to moderate this event on international protocol and soft diplomacy. Now, as you can see, this is going to be a really fascinating panel as we go forward. Let's start today's debate on the topic of impactful communication in international business. And I would like to introduce you, Professor Dr. Devanand Mahadev, Managing, Managing Director of New Economy Strategies. He is an international expert with business development experience in more than 60 countries. He's the Managing Director of New Economy Strategies, 
Dean of International Business and Development Academy and Professor in International Business and Strategy Management at UBIS University in Genoa. He has master's degree in process engineering, industrial management, marketing, business management, and DBA degree in strategic management. So great to have you on board, Professor Mohadev. Floor is yours. Yes, good afternoon, everyone, or good morning, wherever you are. What I want to talk to you about today, especially, is about how to make impactful communication in international business, because any business you want to do, it starts with understanding. And to be able to understand, we should be able to communicate. Only if we communicate properly, we can actually understand each other. At New Economy Strategies, is we are a knowledge and business platform where actually we develop business and we help entrepreneurs from an entrepreneurial perspective. We do that through a global network of partners that we have. Uh, we are an international company and we help with innovative and sustainable formulas. And you want to bring that message while actually you preserve the relationship for the future. It needs an understanding of emotional intelligence. It's, it's about having respect for the other. But it's also about a kind of a self-awareness on where you are to, be, to show some honesty and diplomacy and courtesy. So that full communication is basically the key for international business, but also local and national business. If you are not tactful with others, before you know, you will have a lot of people that don't understand you or even will not like you anymore. So for that, actually, we need the global mindset skills. And global mindset skills is actually the skills that you need actually to navigate smoothly around the world and across cultures. So you, you, you move around the world and everywhere you have a kind of a feeling or understanding on, okay, what's the best way to communicate it? So it's about three elements, a cosmopolitan outlook, the mindful skills, mindfulness skills, and the ability to connect. Thank you, Professor Mohadev. It was a great speech, I think, and I'm sure everybody learned more about the importance of impactful communication skill in international business. And now it's time to learn more about etiquette and diplomatic protocol. I'm happy to introduce you Ms. Elizabeth Sos, Director of ASE RS Mount School of Etiquette. She is a specialist in modern etiquette and coaching based in Melbourne, Australia. She empowers to develop leading from a young age. Elizabeth trained with her mother and grandmother in the European ways of etiquette. Elizabeth believes that the definition of etiquette has evolved uh, and it is the face in front of and behind technology. She trades this belief through all her services. It's a great pleasure to have you today with us. Thank you. Floor is yours. Let's get started. So I'm profoundly honoured to be here for the opening of Protocol Today's online international protocol and soft diplomacy conference. Globalisation is changing, changing the world in every aspect. Today I'll be focusing on etiquette and protocol and how it's interrelated using it on a global, globalised scale, understanding culture and letting it guide us in business. And I want to focus on the meaning of etiquette and protocol. This, there is often confusion surrounding these terms. So let's look at the meaning of etiquette. As described in the Merriam-Webster dictionary, it describes it this way, the rules indicating the proper and polite way to behave. An example of this would be a conversation between two people. Etiquette requires that you wait till a person finishes to express their point of view before expressing your own. Interrupting a person while they're talking can be seen, could be seen as rude or dismissive. The objective of etiquette is to ensure people are treated, and sh treated well and shown respect. Protocols are explained this way. Um, system of rules that explain the correct conduct and procedures to be followed in formal situations. Protocols facilitate the smooth interaction between entities such as governments, diplomatic missions, sporting bodies, and even computers. 
The ultimate aim is to avoid unnecessary confrontation or disharmony. In the entrepreneurial economy, companies are becoming smaller, international, less hierarchical, and are driven by abilities of people to communicate and collaborate. But how can we do this using protocol and etiquette? The answer is, is the in the understanding of culture. Thank you so much. I'm sure we all enjoy listening to your advices. It's time to talk about the impact of diplomacy and the power of protocol in international business. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you, Honorary Patricia Kenneth Dwine, Director of International Center for Protocol and Diplomacy. She is also Director of Principal Consultant and International Trade Specialist for Synergy System Consultant Limited. Over 15 years of experiences promoting foreign direct investments within UK and Africa, providing a framework for trade and investment. With previous working experience at the Department of International Trade, thank you for being with us today. Floor is yours. So today I'm going to be talking about the international protocol and self-diplomacy and, and the power of protocol in an international business. So talking about nature and scope of international business, of course, it takes us in, in, in five categories, which I think are relevant for today's discussion. We we'll look at international restrictions. Uh, of course, uh, in doing international business, there's need for country to country benefits. Um, and there's large scale operations so people have to benefit in terms of, you know, demand and supply. Uh, you have magnet, ma market segmentation, uh, looking at political environment, economics, policies, and in, in, in total doing business environment. Then if we, if we look at integration of economics, uh, combination of many countries coming together, uh, you have finance, you have labor, you have resources and infrastructure. These are all important when we begin to think about uh, international business. So, yeah, so this is like key for today's discussion. Um, the big question is why is diplomacy and protocol important in business? And I thought we could look at five things. We could look at globalization. We could look at soft power and diplomacy. We could look at international business protocol. And of course, digital diplomacy and digital transformation is key today and international systems. Global business, as we know, is, you know, is, is reflected in different, different factors, is reflected in culture, reflected in economy, reflected in the political system. And it just tells us that diplomacy has a significant influence on international business. Uh, diplomacy and protocol also give access to open market. This I find really interesting. I've done over 15 years on international trade, supporting businesses, supporting countries, uh, traveling from one place to the other. And I tell you, diplomacy and protocol had given a huge access in terms of open market. Okay, so now it is time to listen valuable personal experiences. And I really wonder his speech. I would like to introduce you, Mr. René Sepant, Spark Mobility Project Leader. Experienced marketing director with a proven track record of working in government relations industry. He was deputy representative of the Embassy of the Netherlands in Mexico City and the Netherlands Business Office, NBSO, in Querétaro to support Dutch companies and want to expand their business in Mexico and vice versa. The MBSO is established by the Netherlands Ministry of Economic Affairs Bachelor of Science from the Breda University of Applied Science. Thank you for being with us, Mr. Rene. Floor is yours. Yeah, thank you very much. You know, you need to know the factors of that affect really international, uh, international business. You need to know, you need to you know your facts. And actually there are, there are like six facts that I would like to share with you a lot like the, like the legal liabilities, the political factors, which are really important, especially in a country as Mexico, the technological factors, the economic factors, social factors, and the environmental factors. In May 2015, we organized the first Dutch EDM festival in Monterrey, Mexico, together with uh, some local Dutch partners, which I also helped uh, in, in Mexico. We had uh, some really famous DJ coming up, and it, uh, it was just funny that Adrian also mentioned that uh, just about the the dress, um, well, what, what people should wear 
at at the dinner of an ambassador. Well, in this at that time, uh, my first time I organizing this festival, first time sitting on a table uh, with uh, with huge sponsors such as Bud Light. I already understand, already understand a little bit uh, that in Mexico, even though it's 35 degrees, people still wearing a suit. So I thought as well, I, well, I'm going to wear a suit at the, at the negotiation table of, of the contract of one of our sponsors. Happily, I did because, of course, everyone was there as well in the suit. Only my Dutch business partner didn't understand why why you will wear a suit with 35 degrees while sunny outside. It's uh, it's time for shorts and uh, and slippers. So you can imagine uh, it was pretty awkward to sitting on a table with uh, with five guys in a suit and uh, one business partner who is actually the owner of the festival with shorts and a, and a polo and some slippers. Uh, it was pretty funny. But it also it is also typical for the person. So in that in that in that matter, well, if you should, uh, you also need to be yourself, well, in, in those kind of moments. And uh, uh, but I can tell you, it was the last time he was on shorts and with a polo on the table. Yeah. Now time to move on our last topic on establishing strong network in international business. I feel so lucky to know personally, Mr. Yildirim. We work together and made trade delegations from Turkey to Peru and lots of international events too. Mr. Yildirim is the chairman of Turkey-Peru Business Council at Foreign Economic Relations Board of Turkey. He is an import expert and business development expert with extensive international experience. He has a business in Istanbul, New York, and Lima. Additionally, he is a consultant for firms investing in Turkey, USA, and elsewhere. He also promoted many firms expanding their exports operation on different continents. He has experience in different sectors like construction, engineering, mining, finance, energy, retail, and wholesale business. He is a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical from Istanbul Technical University and MBA degree from New York Institute of Technology. He then completed his PhD in business administration in Turkey. So it's great to have you today with us, Mr. Yildirim. Thank you. Okay, the vision with each passing day, globalization brings people, countries, and even continents closer together. Mutual relationship increase, physical borders are removed, and international capital flows ever more freely as the world economy is reshaping. Foreign Economic Relations Board is Turkey's window to the world, its global representative of our, our country's values, vision, and potential, and the founder of a network through which all our country interacts with global players, the mind that understands the world in terms for an economy, the global horizon of our country. Based of, on this understanding, foreign economic relations per pursues of the following vision serving as an example for economic and political development on a regional and global level based on cooperation between private and public sector and civil society, achieving macroeconomic stability, being global competitive with leading entrepreneurs and brands, producing high-tech innovation, being one of the world's uh, foremost investments, finance and research and development centers, applying modern standards on all areas to organize national and international events, to formulate and implement strategies and policies on foreign economic relations, etc. So I can go on all these um, um, mission and vision of foreign economic uh, relations. But today I would like to mention mostly on uh, developing network. Uh, I think the network is the most important um, thing one's uh, life to invest. Thank you so much, Mr. Yildirim. So for the closing remarks, the floor is yours, Professor Mohadev. Yes, thank you, Milike. They are all participants. Thank you so much for being here. First of all, I would like to thank all the speakers. Uh, I think your contribution has been very complementary to each other. Uh, one about the hard side, a bit more the height side, the skill side, the other on the soft skill side. I think we had an excellent mixture of theoretical elements and practical experiences, also illustrated with quite some examples. We had a good level of uh, questions and answers, and I hope that the questions of the participants were answered in a proper way. So at the end, I would conclude that 
this was a truly good session for learning and knowledge sharing and knowledge for polarization. And this is thank you to all to the speakers. Thank you to the organization team, but also to all the participants. We have been quite actively. And I think this is a very nice way to experience with each other. Thank you, honorable speakers, the motivated participants for being with us today. Uh, we have reached to the end of our conference. To all, to all those who contributed to the conference, big, big thank you for your participation and your valuable engagement. It is fair to conclude that the conference was a great success. So many people have contributed in so many ways to turn this event into a smoothly running meeting with many very interesting presentations and a very good atmosphere for discussion and networking. Thank you everyone for making this happen. We hope you enjoyed and got the best out of it. And we can't wait to see you in other future events conducted by Protocol Today Academy, the Netherlands. Thank you so much. We would like now to take a group photo. You all look amazing, lovely. Yes. We'll have the conference in Spanish language. We would love to see you there tomorrow. I'll Same there for sure. with, with more questions. Of course. <laughs> we have a lot of questions. <laughs> more speakers. More speakers, yes. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed everyone. Uh, we loved seeing you. It was amazing and exceptional. And we hope to see you in future events. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much, Joao. Thank you, and, yes. uh, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Bye, Happy everybody. holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. Bye bye. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.